All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and we are currently struggling through Oblivion, and we are at part nine. Xander Stormborn had a super close call last part. Uh, he almost died to a slaughterfish baby, a spawn. <laughs> he's trying to be the strongest mortal in all of Tamriel by any means necessary, and he's about meeting his match by a fish. A baby fish. I want to say these are the scales, and we're just supposed to fight these fish. Uh, but we're not good at it. We're not good at fighting these fish. There's another one. Uh, and if we're supposed to kill 12 of these things for the, for the slaughter fish, then we're just going to have to do it over time. I mean, look at this. Okay, maybe we can get him to here, right? Okay, there's a mud crab down there. Ooh. Here, if there's less moving around, we can always hit. Oh my god, look how much damage these things do. Insane. Whew. Better safe than sorry, better safe than sorry. We can't afford to lose Xander on this. What's up, mud crab? I, you know, I've never seen them in the water. Restoration increase, cool. Alright, where's this fish at? Oh god, there it is. There it is. Oh my god. <laughs> We're just gonna have to get slaughter slaughterfish over time. We'll just make sure not to sell or use those scales. There's no way we're just gonna sit here spamming slaughterfish kills. No, we'll let that just stock up. One day we'll turn that quest in. That's it. Moving, moving on to the next location. Oh my god. Hey, another Nern root. Oh. Imperial City. Coral, that's where we're headed. What's up? Protect and serve. It's what we do. Right. Veronimus yeah, Lex? I've heard of him. Isn't he a soldier or a guardsman in the Imperial City? True rumors? There's been some terrible trouble at the chapel in Anvil. All of Dubella's priests and priestesses murdered. I've heard about that, actually. So? I don't think we need to make a random Legion soldier like us. I'm going to move on from that. Okay. What do we have here? Wolves, perhaps? Looks like wolves. Yeah! Whoa! Nice. Boom! All right. Wolf, who knew? Wolves, much easier than slaughterfish babies. <laughs> A deer, Fort Nickel. Huh, Fort Nickel, huh? Okay. And what do we have here at Fort Nickel? Torn sack of grain. And it had a leak in it. That's weird. Bedroll, we really needed to sleep, but we do not. Hmm. Yep, there's definitely going to be a fort to explore here. Hello, deer. <sighs> okay. What is this? Nothing? Okay. Alright, here we go. Let's make this happen. Fort Nickel, <laughs> prepare to meet your match. God. Probably not, huh? What is this? Still getting our health back up, so. Huh? Nothing to worry about, I guess. Just my eyes playing tricks on me. Yeah, it's definitely a bandit. Uh oh. They're pretty strong. They're pretty strong. A marauder. That sounds more dangerous than a bandit. Okay. All right. Yep, yeah, that is more dangerous than a marauder, or than a bandit. Iron long sword. Okay. That was a long sword. Those long swords are long. Damn. All right. So iron cuirass. Uh, in better shape. But yeah, we don't need that. Uh, iron boots. Same. Oh, we should be. We should be. 
repairing our stuff. We've taken a lot of hits. Let's use the broken, the stolen one first. There we go. Nice. These hammers actually are lasting quite a while. Look at that. Okay. Looks like we don't need that many hammers if we can repair that well. Armor increase. There goes the stolen hammer. We're almost level 3, actually. We're, we're starting to really get along on this. We've gotten 2 armor. Maybe 5 heavy armor. No block. So, I'll try to make sure we get 3 more level ups in endurance skills before we keep going. Marauders. Marauders. They're kind of like, from what I can assume, the stronger bandits. Easy lock. Damn. Okay. Nice. Oh, it's just a chest. 18 gold? I mean, we'll take 18 gold. We just spent 2,000 on a house. Now we're pretty broke. So, nice. Another easy lock with a chest behind it. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of like the second top on the easy locks. It's almost like the second bump is always the best. Bronze amulet, fire shield, gold, and repair hammer. Hey. Let's go. Okay. Let's start with bow again, because again, we're still trying to heal up. What do we got here in Fort Nickel? the handle, huh? Sure. This looks really complicated. Okay. Uh, return that. Yeah, I want that to be open. Oh, where are we going? Where are we headed? Who's there? Oh. Who's there? You're starting to hear us. Sneak skill increase, nice. Uh, oh my god, that's so many enemies. What's that? I guess it was nothing. Ah, no, no, no! Come on, get him! There he goes. I was gonna say he's squishy. Okay, another bowman. Come on. Show me what you've got. Come on. Are they killing each other? Uh -huh. Who's there? Oh, no. Mark's been increased. Okay. I guess I guess they killed each other to an extent. Interesting. Oh uh, wow, there's still so many of them though. Oh! <laughs> Just shooting from underwater? Oh, Oblivion. Whoa. What? From where? What is happening? There we go. Now that makes more sense. A Marauder Archer. But he's still coming at me with a, a melee weapon. Okay, got one. Whew. Whew. Okay, all right, one down. I'll, I'll switch to hand to hand once there's only one enemy left. Oh. All right, you know what? Actually, I think I can take them from here. Oh, missed. Yeah. Get over here. Weave. Get him on the ground. Marauder Battle Mage down. Five arrows. Okay. We're getting it. Making it happen. Ow. There we go. Boom. Oh, and Xander makes it again. Wow, though. That was a lot of enemies. 
Good thing we busted out the marksman there. Uh, Bandit Hedge Wizard. Bandit Bowman. A lot of arrows here. We'll probably start selling that at some point. Bandit Bowman. Yep. No uh, Shadow Banished line. Can't help but notice we're in a, port, a ruined fort right next to uh, that one place. Is that it? Have I, cleared, have I cleared this place out, really? Now there's a straightaway we haven't done yet. I see. Well, there's a chest we haven't looked at yet. Very easy chest, that I add. Repair hammer and gold, sure. I can feel we're starting to speed up a little bit in the movement category. But it's still not much. Yeah, this is it. We did it. That was Fort Nickel. <laughs> okay, well, we did it. Success. Huzzah. Xander has proven he is the superior man. Fort Nickel never stood a chance. Very nice. Alright. Sure. Why not? Let's head back out. We're full health. Feeling healthy here. That went so much better than hunting slaughterfish, I tell you. Sorry about that. What time is it? 2.45. Oh, we got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Go ahead. We're making, making sure we're doing... Uh, deliver the amulet. And we'll see if we have any more uh, distractions on the way. Maybe so, maybe not. But we are going to do our best to get there. Listen to that music. That's nice. <laughs> Loading area. That's not something you see anymore. 2006 strikes again. Man, it's wild how slowly we move. We need to get into light armor and we need to get our athletics to speed up. Pronto. Whoa, what? Yeah. Bandit. That was a mistake you made. <laughs> Alright, thanks for spicing up the journey, though. Much appreciated. Ooh, looks like we got somewhere new to explore. That bandit was really signing a death warrant there. He had... She had no business challenging us on that. Yo, seriously? This isn't that steep. Oblivion's really picky about being able to climb hills, huh? And this doesn't work either? There we go. Dang. I, I, I didn't remember Oblivion being so picky about being able to go up hills. But clearly, it is. Ooh, what is this? A scamp! I remember you guys, yellow tick cave. Yeah. Stunted scam. Come on, baby. Ooh. Come on, fist fight. There's another one, and he got killed yeah. by his friend. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Two scamps. That's almost beyond our capabilities right now. Hand to hand increase. Good. Woo. Woo. Whoa. Whoa. Let's get that venison, maybe? No. Actually, I have that restore health property. Yeah. Wow. Any other restore health? Karen Bullet Cap. Nice. Three health for 11 seconds? That's actually really good. Wait a second. Uh, 
Where was that? Restore health. I like that a lot, actually. Restore over time. Hey. Alright, let's use another uh, weak potion of sorcery that we've been collecting all this time. And then I guess we'll go give Yellow Tick Cave a look. I'm gonna guess scamps. Just a suspicion. Just, <laughs> just a suspicion. We have 200 arrows with this bow right now. Money if we ever need it, I guess. What's that? Uh oh. Okay. Conjurer. She healed. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we don't we don't need a bow for her. Never mind, she's healing a lot. Ah. There it is. Okay. Blue suede shoes, of course. Gotta get the blue suede shoes. Oh, he's another one. Just drop them. Just drop them faster than they can respond. Okay. Yellow to cave. Uh, novice Alembic, nice. Novice, hey, a retort. That's a new thing. Oh my god, all these alchemy things are worth so much. Oh, I just took a crystal ball. I'll make sure to drop that. Six gold, uh, crystal ball. Crystal, crystal, crystal ball. Uh, stone miscellaneous. There we go. Get that out of here. Uh, okay. So many alchemy things that are worth a lot. Calcinator! I think that's everything. Yeah, we have it all. Look at us. The whole lineup. Very cool. Alright, we can't check how well it works yet, but hey. Nice. Those are worth a lot of money per pound, too. I guess we're going to start dropping uh, these fur curses. There we go. Had only three gold each. They're not worth much. Uh oh, scamp! Just a, just a scamp on its own. Not even a master. Yeah. Ah, something scamp. <laughs> nice. Ow. All right. <laughs> nice. Boom! Got the stagger. Okay. Uh, another one. They're everywhere. And that way keeps going. Uh, I think this is going to be a bigger place than I had planned on it being. Come on. There we go. Alright, Xander, let's get him. Boom. Got him with the stagger. Oh yeah, we messed this one up. That was much better. Okay. Yellow Tick Hollows. Yeah, I, I haven't yet to find a dungeon in Oblivion that's small. They're all pretty sizable. Another scam. Hello? Who's there? Oh god, another enemy. Just kidding. I was just kidding. Uh, bow back out. We got multiple enemies. Okay. We can dodge those fire blasts all day. I think he's out of Magicka. Ow. The shoulder thrusts. <laughs> Get him out of here. Heavy armor increase, nice. What is our heavy armor at? 33 now. Ooh. I think that's 8 endurance levels. Okay. Who's there? What are we working with? We got more conjurers incoming. A lot of conjurers in here, honestly. Oh. Oh. 
there it is. Knock her down before she has time to heal. There we go. That gets rid of the scam. Okay. What do we got here? Man, we could have gone to the hollows a while ago, but this place just keeps going. Uh-oh. I knew I should have healed first. Uh-oh. Okay. Hold up. Nope. Yeah. Get back here, you. Come back. God, they're so much faster at running than we are. It's crazy. There we go. Come on. Get over here. What a coward. There we go. I mean, it was smart, but still a coward. No way he has a chance against Xander Stormborn's fist. <laughs> oh, man. Man, the day we can finally start using real weapons is going to feel so liberating. Ah. Okay. No. Yes. All right, a couple lockpicks gone there. Nice little gem, nice. All right. Okay. What's funny is on my Fallout 3 game, uh, our unarmed combat is super strong, and so we just blow people up with it because he's specializing in unarmed. And in Fallout, specializing in unarmed is like a really viable way of doing things. Whereas in Oblivion, uh, unarmed is not good. It's just not good. There's no arguing it. Boom, get the staggers, come on. Get the staggers, come on. Ouch. Man, oh man, getting lit up in here. Just like always. It's a very hard game so far, for sure. Uh, Fallout has been hard in its own way, but Oblivion, because we're doing hand-to-hand -hand combat, uh, is proving to be very difficult as well. Okay, get a couple more heals in here. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Okay, so another door to the hollows. Very good. So let's go to the closer one, because I have a feeling that's the one you're supposed to go through first, which might make things a little easier and simpler. So we've cleared out a lot of this place. Almost full health. Here we go. Yellow to Hollows. What do we got? Huh? Your presence here will yeah. not be okay. tolerated. <laughs> Boom. We're able to drop those pretty quick. Hand to hand increase. Nice. Chest. Okay. Lesser with a petty level in it. Yeah. Been there, seen that. Okay. Is that one scamp on its own? Looks like it. Yeah! Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I think it's better to just not power attack once you're up on them already. Power attack's good for when they're charging you, but otherwise it's probably just better to just spam punch. I feel like you drain their fatigue more and have a better chance. I've had a good chance of knocking people over when I do that instead. Uh-oh. Multiple enemies. Uh-oh. Alright. Bow out. Bow out. Multiple enemies. Nice stagger. He's gonna run out of magic as soon as charge him. Two of them. Oh. And these are just stunted scamps. These are like the garbage tier demons and fiends. Okay. Still space. So I am running out of it. Dude, the bow is so bad. Okay. Yeah, Marksman. Not a good skill from what I've seen. 
We actually do even better at killing things with hand to hand. Yeah, marksmen can do it from range, but yeah. Damn. Oh, ow. Wipe them out, wipe them out, wipe them out. Oh, shit. Come on, Xander. There's the stagger. Okay. Woo. Two more down. Man, oh, man. Slowly but surely, we are working our way through here. Uh, three different ways to go. Well, one of them just leads to a chest. So let's do that one first. Oh, never mind. It does go places. Good thing he was looking the other way. Lock. Easy. Nice. Full goal. Okay. Okay. Let's go this way because it's separated from the other two paths first. That way we don't get into multiple different fights. Oh, that's probably the exit that we saw earlier. So the hollows are not as big as the main section of the cave. Hello? Is this a dead end up here? Sneak skill increased? Hey, we got some over there. Ah. Ah. These staggers, they really get us. There we go. Yeah, this was a dead end. Okay. One more scamp dealt with. Woo! We are definitely not strong yet. Xander's dream is to be strong, but he is not anywhere close yet. Yeah, that gave us away. I thought it would. Okay. I'm starting to get the hang of their melee combat a little bit. They like to swipe backwards. Looks like we got help from another scamp. Oh god. Now it's retorting gold. Okay. Oh shoot. Alright, listen. We're gonna have to use another We're gonna have to use another weak potion of sorcery to heal some more, because I don't wanna risk our whole life on this. And you'll notice I'm saving my healing potions. I really love see saving healing potions for really tough fights. So if there's ever a way I can do that, that's generally what I do. Nice. Avoiding those back swipes has been helping us a lot with these guys. There we go. Hand to hand increased again. That's gotta be getting pretty good, huh? 31. It's actually not that high at all. Oh boy, we're gonna be doing this for a while. What do we have here? Oh, this is... What? Did we go in a circle? We did! We did it! We cleared the place out! That was everything! Okay. So that was a lot. <laughs> but we did it! Cleared it out. Alright, one more place tackled by Xander Stormboy. A lot of these places have not been easy, but we're getting there little by little. Great forest. Oh, it is nighttime. It's 9.30 nighttime. And we're probably not anywhere near somewhere to sleep. Is there a keep up here? Xander needs some rest. There's no giant enemies in the wilderness here. <laughs> Summer Bolet. Kind of looks like a Mario mushroom. Alright, what do we got here? It's on the road, so maybe it's safe. Is this the main road? Whoa. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Damn wolf. Came out of nowhere, this guy. Sit down. Ow. This is 
safe, right? It's it's right in the middle of the road. The Imperial Watch would have to come through here. Another one. Boom. Wolves are a comfy enemy. We can handle them no problem. Is there a bed or something up here? Something to sleep in, maybe? We, we I would easily have Xander post up here if we could. No, it looks like no bed. Looks like a good place for it, too. That's unfortunate. Guess he's in for a long night. Guess he's in for a long night. The jumping in Oblivion is so floaty, I love it. <laughs> oh, man. Support Ash is what that's called. Pay up, Whoa. or else. Whoa! Take it from me if you can. Easily done. Is it now? Die down you. Yo, wait, why is he so strong? Ooh, this guy means business. Oh god, I'm starting to get a little scared actually. Yeah, he's not messing around. Oh god, I guess. Show me what you've got. He just has so much more range than us too. Yeah, there we go. Got him on the ground. That's big. We can keep putting him on the ground. We got him in a good spot here. Nice, stagger. Ooh, let's go. Oh, an iron battle axe. Oh man, highwaymen set me up in the middle of the night here. Okay, just traveling is super dangerous for Xander out here. There's no easy enemies. Other than wolves. Wolves are like the only easy enemy we've found so far. Please tell me that's where we're trying to get to, this next place right here. Not only could we use a rest, but we could use some safety. I know we were in the Imperial City for a long time, and that was really starting to uh, drag on, because there was never any danger. But now we've been in danger for a, a while, and I'm ready for Xander to have some safety here. Tiger Lily Nectar. All right, what is this? Oh, wait a second. No, this is something before Wayne and Priory. But we are getting close to Wayne and Priory. Oh, Deal Farm. Interesting. It's a nice little farm here. Uh, not one we can visit at the moment. Fair enough. Wayne and Priory, we're coming. We are coming for some sleep. <laughs> oh, man. What is that? What is that? Wait, is that Wayne and Priory? Is this where we're going? Wayne and Priory, we made it! I've arrived at Wayne and Priory. Now I must take the Amulet of Kings to Joffrey. Uh, oh, I actually kind of remember this, like, front area. Uh, yeah, I... And that's a really skinny church. I am kind of recalling this area a little bit, if I'm being honest. What do we have here? It's you. I'm the shepherd here. It's you. Eranor's the name. And this is Wayne on Priory. Hey, we got the safety, Joffrey. If he's not sleeping or eating... He'll be fussing with his books, I reckon, over in the Priory House. Okay. Rumors? I found some good pauldrons at the Armorer. Okay. Make it quick. Okay. So... Okay. Uh, that's complicated. Let's go with that. You're pathetic. That like rotate. You. Oh, please. Oh, I did that all wrong. Damn it. Okay. That's just too. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Much you're better. full of it. Uh... 
You're pathetic. That. That. You're that. That. Where did you get that? That's good. You can't. <laughs> how nice. Yeah. How nice. You yeah, can't. We're really getting the hang of it here. Big fat Rotate. Man. There we go. Oh, that's Seventy-two, great. and I can keep How's going. How's it go again? Is that? Don't. We're getting pretty oh, ahead of the that's game. Great. I like you. Seventy-four, too. and we can keep going. Is you're a big fat. <laughs> I like you. Five, and we can keep going. You're, you're a big. It's. I 82. like that a lot. All right. Be seen. Okay. Yeah. Let's go inside. I just saw a person had to talk to him. Wayne and House. Is this Joffrey? What? Prior Mabro. Welcome to Wayne and Priory, a monastic retreat dedicated to Talos and the Nine Divines. Okay. I'm Prior Mabero, head of our community, and responsible for all our religious and secular affairs. Um, Joffrey. You'll most likely find him in the library. Order of Talos? Our order works to spread the teachings and worship of the divine Talos. Surely you have heard of us. If not, I invite you to spend some time in our fine library. All are welcome here. Uh, the Blades. The Emperor's Elite Knights. They dedicate themselves to Talos above and the Septims here on Earth. The loss of the Emperor must be a terrible blow to them. Wayne and Priory? Wayne and Priory is a monastery devoted to the praise and worship of Talos and the Nine Divines. Brother Piner, Father Joffrey and I are members of the Order of Talos. Eranor, a lay brother, tends after the sheep and our little farm. Okay. Brother Piner? Some words should be shared only by friends. Oh, gotcha. Aranor? Some words should be... Okay, gotcha. He needs to like... I'm listening. Her. Okay. He likes that more. Okay. <laughs> Good one. Thank you. Uh, rotate? What a... F yeah. Please. Hold up. I'm embarrassed. But thank you. Rotate... Loves no. it. Boom, boom, no, I, boom. <laughs> good one. Uh, hates that one. Okay. No, I doubt it. Likes that. Yeah, one. I get it. Boom, That's cute. Boom. What a wonderful compliment. You're welcome. I'm here to make you feel good, I guess. No, I, sure. <laughs> really, now you're, you're such, such a, a charmer. charmer. That's pretty good. Thank you. Uh. No, no, I doubt it. 62, and we're still going. He's going to like us a lot, I think. No, I doubt it. What? No, not bad. 64. Not bad at all. Okay. No, I doubt it. All right. Sure, that's cute. Really, now, you're such a charm. Don't make me laugh. No, I doubt it. No, this, this. goodness. 67. What can I say? <laughs> uh, I doubt it. He's so difficult. <laughs> Good one. 70. That's not bad. He's got to like us now. Brother Piner is a fine young monk, zealous and energetic. In time, I hope he may add patience and prudence to his list of virtues. <laughs> Eranor? Surprised by Eranor's uncanny way with sheep? What? Perhaps it would interest you to know that Eranor's sister, Dagail, in Leowin, is an accomplished spellcrafter. Spellcrafter? I'm so hyped to be able to craft Today. spells. That sounds so awesome. Excuse me. Whoa. Can I help you? Are you looking for Prior Maberal or Joffrey? Uh, my, I must speak to Joffrey. I think he's sleeping, but it must be important. Go ahead upstairs and wake him. <laughs> well, thank you for permission to wake him. Joffrey's not sleeping? What are you talking about? He's right there. But I want some sleep. I would gladly sleep. Bed? Yes. Oh. Yes. Xander has been needing this. Nice. Very good. Next time he goes to sleep, he'll probably level up. Well met. Yes, indeed. Quite so, quite so. All right, Joffrey, let's talk, you and me. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? I brought you the Amulet of Kings. This cannot be. 
No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. Give Joffrey the amulet. By the Nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Tell the Emperor's last words. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Close shut the jaws of oblivion? His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. How can Oblivion threaten us, then? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. Okay. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. Ooh. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. Hmm. Emperor asked me to find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne. If he yet lives. A bastard son. Where can I find him? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Okay. Uh, Amulet of Kings. It will be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. Okay. Assistance. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. X. That's what I wanted to hear. Whoa. I guess he's opening that. Thank you. Your first priority now should be to find Martin and bring him back here. Right. Of course. Uh, assistance. I don't have much here at hand, but you're welcome to anything you need from my chest in the reading room. Right, 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 right. Prior Mabriel and Brother Piner may also be able to help. You should speak to them about it if you haven't already. Okay. Boris? One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. Dragonfires. The coronation of each new Emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragonfires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the Emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead and no successor crowned, the Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. And that's probably really important. Uh, Elder Council. The Elder Council rules in the Emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. Right. Uh, Martin. He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kavach. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. Merun's Dagon? The Daedra Prince of Destruction. An inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jaegar Than's plot against the Empire years ago. It doesn't surprise me to find his hand in the current calamity. I think Jagar Tharn was like the big bad guy of Elder Scrolls II, Daggerfall. I could be wrong about that, but that's ringing a bell, I think. The Blades? Yes, Boris told you right. I am the Grand Master of the Blades. We serve the Emperor and the Septim bloodline. Talos is our patron. You wonder to find me here? Discretion is our watchword. Only a few of us have the honor to serve publicly in the Imperial Guard. 
All right. Well, thank you, Joffrey, Waste and thank you for the 30 steel arrows, steel bow, steel claymore, steel war axe. Wow. A lot of good here. A lot of, a lot of very good here. Wow. I was not expecting all that. Uh, I have way too much stuff now. What should I be dropping? Fur Greaves? Uh, the extra iron boots? The iron cuirass, I guess? No. Uh, wow! There's just so much. I guess the steel claymore is really not worth that much. For how heavy it is. So we'll leave that behind. Thank you! Cabinet door needs a key. That's a secret door. Uh, okay, well. They said they might be able to help us. Doubtful, but I'll, I'll, I'll go see what they got. I guess. How goes it? It goes, Brother Piner. Yes? Uh, Anvil Chapel attack. Things go from bad to worse nowadays. Priests. Murdered on the chapel altar. Oh, what next? Uh, assistance. Perhaps you will find this useful. One of the books I saved from my blades training. You go into danger. Ooh. Joffrey didn't tell us any more than that, but know that our prayers go with you. We go into danger? Warp in the West, Joffrey. Brother Joffrey? He should be in the Priory House, I think. Right, right, right. Order of Talos? It isn't widely known. But many brothers of the Order of Talos are also members of the Blades. Yeah, just go ahead and tell me that. <laughs> Chapter houses of the Order, like Wayne and Priory, provide safe houses for traveling Blades as well as our more public religious functions. Right. Uh... Blades who are too old for the active service often join the Order as lay brothers. Mm, okay. We are honored to have Grand Master Joffrey, or Brother Joffrey as he prefers, as a resident here. Prophet? He seems to be different than your usual self-proclaimed holy man. Maybe what he says is true. That the attack on the chapel of Devella is just the beginning of an assault on the church itself. Oh. The blades? The blades are closely linked to the Order of Talos. We both serve Talos, of course, and many of our brothers are former blades. I myself was training as a blade when I received the call to serve Talos... In a different way. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, and he basically already likes us. Okay, so... While I'm going ahead and... I can't argue with that. Cranking this out here. Get away from... No, you do me too much honor. Uh, You're revolting. I'm going to go ahead and start the next part after this point in the story. Uh, if you've made it this goodness. far, I really what appreciate I... you watching this I far. I doubt it. Goodness. What can I say? Uh, I doubt it. He doubts it. You sh I really now. Not really now. I won't fight you. I see. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I really Farewell. appreciate you watching this far. Uh, we've done some of the main story here, and we look like we are just about ready to go. And next time, maybe we go to Kavach, but before we even go to Kavach, which is here. We need to go to Battlehorn Castle, uh, I and Coral itself. There's a whole city right here. We can't just ignore it, right? Yeah, let's see what we have to do here first before we head out. Sounds good. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it. If you really enjoyed it, uh, consider subscribing. If not, no hard feelings. Thank you so much for joining this journey with me and Xander into oblivion here, and I will see you next time.